Kurt, everybody. Keep it going for Kurt. I'm already so sweaty. This is not gonna be good. I don't belong under lights. Uh, Kurt was talking about his size. I'm a big guy. I'm 6'5", 280, which is not what doctors tell you to be. That's not what they recommend. Uh, the thing about being this size is like, I'm a sensitive guy, but nobody expects that. And people love to tell you you're a big guy when you're a big guy. Like I was on a date, this was literally two weeks ago, and I'm walking, it was a very good date, I'm walking her back home, and as we're walking home, a very drunk guy just pops out of nowhere and he goes, hey, look at that huge motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to, I tried to make a joke, I was like, do you mean me or her? And she didn't I appreciate that. <laughs> I thought that was mean. I, I literally didn't, I didn't know what to do, because I'm trying to be smooth, like I'm on a date, so I just, what I, my instinct was, I was like, oh yes, thank you, thank you very much. Like, I'm a celebrity. I'm like, please, no autographs. Yes, I am the huge motherfucker. Please. No, thank you. <laughs> Not this time. Uh, kids are very weird about size. Because um, kids will just say things about you and they don't know that it's hurting you deep in your heart. <laughs> like, my sister-in-law, she nannies for two kids. They're like eight years old. They're very, very sweet. But they're over at our house all the time. And they'll just come up to me and just hurt me so much. They'll just, like, run up. <laughs> They'll run up and they'll be like, you're the biggest man in the world. What are you made out of? And I was trying, you know, they're eight, so I can't like freak out on them. And I was trying to be cute. And I was like, oh, me? Well, little man, I'm made out of muscles. And without a beat, he goes, no, you're not. You're made out of chicken nuggets. And ran away. I'm like, what am, am I supposed to kick this kid's ass now? I mean, can I beat up an eight-year-old? Like, I can't make fun of him verbally. I can't be like, oh, well, you got a little dick, you little idiot. You're gonna fuck a woman with that baby dick, you dumbass? You bitch? I right, spit on him. I think I might actually spit. If I actually spit on somebody, I'm very sorry. This is my New Year's resolution. Don't spit on any more crowds in 2019. I've already failed. <laughs> I literally just did a show where a woman um, on the show before me, she, she literally goes, she started a bit, she goes, uh, so I'm now banging the fattest guy I've ever banged, and then she listed my exact height and weight. And I was like, so do I just become all right now? I don't know, do I buy a Pepe shirt? I don't know, I have no idea. Somebody have Alex Jones's number? I don't know. I'm from uh, Texas originally, if you can't tell by my shirt. I'm not a horse surgeon, I'm just from Texas. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good riff. It's a good riff. Um, in Texas, they really respect size though. Like out in California, they're like, why do you exist? Leave, walk into the ocean. But in Texas, they think I'm a great man. I've lived a great life because of this size. Like they think I'm the mayor of Texas when I'm walking around. I swear to God, this is how much they respect size in Texas. I was back home for Christmas. This was last Christmas. And this happened about four separate times. Me and my family, we were eating out for dinner. And a guy, I didn't know, four separate times would just like walk up to us, like there's this oil like rig worker, would be like, oh, Ma'am, I hate to bother you and your family on this nice Christmas Eve, but can I do, can I, son, how tall are you? And I'm like, I'm 6'5", and he goes, yeah, how much do you weigh? And I'm like, 280, and he's like, just shake your hand real quick. <laughs> just shake a big man's hand today. You shake a big man's hand. I was like, what are you? I'm not famous. I don't play for the Cowboys. What do you want to shake my hand? He's like, can I just, I hate to, I'm not with Kirkman Eve, and this is so rude to me, but that's my children over there. Can you take a picture with my family real quick? My, my, my kids need to be a big man today. I'm like, please stop. I know this makes me feel bad. And he was like, listen, here's the thing. I'm five seven. I was cut from my JV team. I should have killed myself a long, long time ago. <laughs> But I just kept living for some dumb old reason. That's my wife. Can you take a picture with my wife? I'll Photoshop my face onto your body. Pretend I'm a better man than I am. I was like, Pete, what? what's going on? He's like, listen, here's the thing. There's a parking lot out back. I know it's Christmas Eve. I take you out. I suck your dick real quick. Suck your dick. Two pumps, you come in my ass real quick. So uh, I fucked him in the ass, and then we watched the mule, and it was a fun Christmas. I don't know if you guys haven't seen The Mule in Texas. That is, whoo, that is a fun time watching The Mule. In I can literally hear people groaning at what they think the bit is going to be. The Mule in Texas is very fun. We literally, we watched Vice the day before opening day. Two people in all of Texas went to watch it. We watched The Mule fourth weekend the next day, standing room only. It was insane. Literally the beginning of the movie is Clint Eastwood just looks at a Mexican person and you're like, oh no. 
oh, I know what's coming right now. And literally, the first line of the movie is he goes, hey, Pablo, why don't you move that dang old taco wagon? You're going to get deported. And you just hear people like, yeah! I shot a gun, dip flew all over the screen. It was insane. I didn't think we were going to make it out alive. I like being from Texas. Like, I'm from a white trash place, which you're supposed to hate, but I think it's kind of funny. Like, I have a better Facebook than anybody in here, I think. I have the best Facebook in the world, because my Facebook is full of white trash idiots who are revealing way too much about their personal life. It's great. It's like Eminem 2001 in my Facebook. I'll just be like, it'll be 8 o'clock on a Monday, and I will open Facebook, and I will just see somebody I went to high school with genuinely post like, well, I can say my parents going to fuck my wife. And I'm like, woo -hoo! I'm doing like the Westbrook dance in my apartment. I'm like, I'm calling out sick from work. I'm pouring a beer. I'm going to read all 155 of these comments. And you're going through the comments, and it's just different people in my small town bragging about who fucked his wife the best. So he's like, well, I fucked her good. He's like, well, I double fucked her. You get to like the 80th comment, it's just his wife being like, well, maybe if you dick me down a little bit better, Daryl, I want to have to walk down to the Dairy Queen to get some pay off. <laughs> this, is, this is nuts. I was like, I don't think I met his wife. I think she went to another school, and I pull her picture up, and I'm like, wait, is, did he just marry a pig, like a barnyard pig, that he put a wig and a dress on and lipstick? I'm like, it's 2019, but, you know, what are you, you going to do? I am so fucking sweaty right now. Jesus Christ. Uh, I am so white trash that we had to take, this is true, my granddaddy. First off, I have a granddaddy, which, what? What is that? A granddaddy? Jesus Christ. We had to take my granddaddy's Facebook account away from him because he kept posting too many pictures of naked women on Facebook. <laughs> Swear to God. Hand to God. And not like, here's the thing. Like, I love naked women. I'm a red-blooded American, just like the rest of you. Uh, he wasn't posting, like, you think, like, a black and white, like, a side boob, like, half a ass. He was posting, like, Natty's bush! Like, hey man, I look bored. Let's knock it off, okay? I don't need to see the inside of a pussy right now. And he was posting that, and we were, we were so confused, we didn't know what was happening, because he was like a good Christian man. He was the deacon of a church for 40 years. He was the judge of a county for 35. The judge, he sent people to jail. And so we call him up, and we're like, Granddaddy, why do you keep posting all these pictures of naked women on Facebook? Everybody can see when you do that. And he, I swear to God, this is not my response. This is, don't judge me for what I'm about to tell you, he said. I swear to God, his genuine response was, he took a second, as if to mull it over, and he goes, well, you know, I read this article on um, uh, Fox News the other day that says, if you post a picture of a naked woman on Facebook and a person of the Muslim persuasion happens to read it, well, according to Sharia law, they have to kill themselves. So, you know, my body can no longer fight for this country, so I use my mind. I'm a cyber warrior for Jesus Christ. I'm Neo. I'm the one. Your granddaddy's the one. Find Agent Smith, but he's Muslim. You're like, all right, you don't get Facebook anymore, granddaddy. What's your password? One, two, three, four? Okay, we're changing that. That's four, three, two, one now. You're not cracking that, bitch. I just love the logic behind that. Because number, it's so racist and xenophobic. But number one, it's like, how many Muslim friends do you have on Facebook, like, Daddy? I don't think like Shabiz Aham is like, I wonder what Don Avery's up to today. Let me check out Texas Judge Don Avery's Facebook. My dad's my granddaddy's defending the Freedom Tower with just big ass titties on a sign. You're not gonna get it! Not that that made me laugh. Okay. Broke the mic. Fantastic. Um, what do I want to leave you guys with? Uh Probably this, um, I have a Christian mom. I grew up very religious, which, Christian moms are great people, they're very nice. I love my Christian mom, but she sucks ass. Uh, she's a huge ass, dumb ass nerd, and I hate her. Uh, love her to death, but, oh, what a dumb bitch. Uh, <laughs> she's great. Um, but she, Christian moms, like, they just ruin everything, because they're such tryhards, and when you're a tryhard, you fuck everything up. Because you're trying so damn hard. Literally, I, I didn't come out to my parents, but I told my mom that I had depression. I was going to therapy because I was in a really bad spot in my life. In Texas, that's like a no-no. So I literally had to sit her down, and I, I got her alone. I go, Mom, I just want to let you know that I'm a, 
I'm going to therapy um, for depression, and this is not your fault. You know, this has nothing to do with you. Um, I lied, of course. Uh, <laughs> you know, this has nothing to do with you. I'm just going to therapy. I'm working through some stuff, and I just want to let you know I love you so much, and I just, I had to tell you. And she paused, and then with tears in her eyes, she goes, is this? It's because you're gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. It's been like the most vulnerable moment of my, my, of my life. My mom just roasted the shit out of me. She's like, it's because you're gay, bitch. Like she blew a horn. <laughs> Tuba started playing. It was crazy. All right, I'm out of time, guys, but thanks for listening. Let's get perfect. <laughs>